guys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new. My name's Heather Social Purvis, I am a queer fantasy author. The first part of the two parts of my overall 2024 reading, writing, and author uh, goals for 2024. So grab yourself a cup of tea, coffee, or whatever beverage you're of your choice as we settle in to go through these. Yes, my 2024 reading goals in the next video. So please stick around, hit that red subscribe button and come back for that one if that's what you're interested in. This one is going to be focusing on my writing and author career goals. Uh, so let's dive on into the writing because without doing the writing being an author would be a bit hard My writing is I'm going to be focusing on drafting three main projects in 2024 uh, the first one being Project Six College, uh, which is going to be a dark academia idea and I will be looking at entering a mentorship program uh, with this one or traditionally publishing because fantasy is not hugely represented in Australian publishing houses without sort of an additional distribution uh, so this one may lead a bit more dark horror rather than and paranormal possibly uh, but we'll see as we keep drafting uh, so that is project six college which i will be also doing some reading along the road to understand a bit more of the horror and dark academia sub genres uh, the next one is going to be two in the twisted garden saga which is going to be the Thistle king which is a reimagining of the Fisher King uh, or Grail Wound legend of Arth uh, from the Arthurial legends. Uh, so I'm quite interested to go into a dark like lapse and descent into madness in that novel. I am also going to be doing a Splinter of Ash, which is a first book in a duology. I will look at possibly traditional publishing or Kickstarter for this one uh, after I've done a bit more research. Uh, so this was the Project Veil vale that I've been talking about so much. I've now, during a couple of live streams and on the Storyteller's Hearth uh, weekend in October, I had the opportunity to kind of brainstorm with other people and come up with the duology series title as well as the series for, uh, the title for the, both the books. I am also going to challenge myself and please hold me accountable for this one to write chronologically through the books because I jump around and I am finding that is a really awkward thing when I go back to do the editing because then I have to backfill and then it messes my timelines up. So writing chronologically is a goal or a challenge I am setting myself along with the challenge of doing a, a daily prompt in this lovely mad a year-long journey uh, journal of magic that was put together by Lee Bardugo called the Severed Moon and it just has like prompts in it just to get creativity and see if anything sparks my interest. Another challenge I am going to set myself is the 1k a day writing challenge. Uh, so a thousand words a day that will give me some good meaty substance like chunks in my novels. Um, because I can't edit a blank page so a minimum of a thousand words a day on average because I know there are some days I won't be writing some days I will be writing because also Little Dragon goes to kindy next year so I'm going to have more time during the day um, that she's not around so I can actually do some more writing about that so I will also if you would like me to take you along and do some writing vlogs let me know uh, and finally I'm going to aim to have three short stories submitted for publications in journals, magazines, competitions and anthologies uh, as a way of putting my foot in the door of inquire, uh, querying, submissions and stuff. So far I've only kind of just sent them into Armadale Writers Festival contest and that's really easy just to hit the send button. This one is more finding and honing the skill of submissions as I will be looking at possibly I'm looking at submitting to a mentorship and traditional publishers possibly in 2025 so I need to get in the habit of sending it out and getting the feedback. There will be rejections and that's okay. 
So on to the author plants. Okay, so author plants. We are going to have her Daffodil Queen will be published late March of 2024 or absolute push no later than Little Dragon's birthday, which is mid-April. Uh, that is it. After that, I will be giving myself a big slap on the wrist if I don't get it out. I also have a little horror novella that I am going to be going back to and expanding as I wrote a very rough first draft of it during a seven day book challenge that SD Hughes ran and that was an amazing event that I want to, uh, to thank for putting on. Uh, now I have a piece of work to work, um, edit and get that out for publication. I am going to be running monthly live streams here on the channel, uh, productivity live streams to get everything, to get everything in place and uh, make sure I am hitting all those goals and targets. I am also going to be looking at doing bi-monthly author events, whether it is a market, a convention, a author talk, just to get myself out there and networking and growing community around me. With that community being grown, I am also aiming to hit 500, maybe 750 or absolute sky's the limit of getting a thousand subscribers on this channel with going along with getting that all up and racing. A goal that I had quarter four of 2023 that hasn't got off the ground and I will not be able to get it off the ground between now and the end of the year is my author newsletter. So I am putting it here as a absolute number one priority to get done. And that is having my author newsletter. I do have subscriber goals for that as well. 50, 75 or 100 people on my author newsletter. Uh, so I'll take you along on that journey too uh, as I set it up, organize it and get the or my author website off the ground. Uh, I also would like to break even with Cursed Cove so then I am at a position of knowing that it's sustainable uh, as a practice and that I'm more confident moving forward on taking the lessons I learnt in self-publishing it forwards. But all in all, they are the top priority goals I have in my writing and author career for 2024. I would like to know what your top priority goals are the next year. Uh, and if you've gotten this far and you're not feeling overly chatty, Please leave me, please leave me a cleaning emoji as we are cleaning out the debris of things that didn't work for us this year uh, and moving forward with things that did work and getting all our goals organised. Uh, I post videos regularly on this channel. Uh, if you've liked this one, please give me a like, a uh, thumbs up. I'll be back with something very, very soon, which will be the 2024 reading uh, big goals. Also, there is a... Uh, poll in my community tab just to ask about how regularly you like to see updates and goals please uh vote on that one it will be greatly appreciated until next time let's use our voices to promote positive change in the world thank you and bye for now